Okay? In, in a boxing costume, we're going to have a, a three-man side and a two-man side. Okay? A lot of times, the lefty side winds up being the two-man side because most teams have more righties than they have lefties, so the two-man guys will be the, the, the area where we initiate from to try to generate a shot or to, or to draw a slide from the back side. We have more real estate, right? <clears throat> Next time we come to practice, we'll do the three-man side, right? So we do have those three right-handed players. We can operate with the ball over there, but it's just different than the way we handle the two-man side over here, right? So most teams that we play in the American box tournaments that we go to, right? They're skilled, they're athletic, but they have not learned how to pick well. And that's something that I've really focused on. I really want to try and teach you guys to play box across like you know, a Canadian player, right? To, to learn to set more than one pick on every possession. So the first pass, most of the time, right, we're going to pass down, pick down. Every box coach uses that expression. It's familiar, right? And unfortunately for a lot of teams and a lot of two-man game situations, our player, our top player will run down and set a pick. Our low player will come hard over the top. I may feel really good about that two-man game. Not that, you know, that was great. Good two-man game. That's nothing. The defense, nine out of 10 times, is gonna make a simple switch. Our offensive player with the ball is not going to have an advantage. Our, our man who set the pick most likely is not going to have an advantage. Right? So we say that the first pick is free. Don't pat yourself on the back because you did one pick. That's really when the two-man game is just getting started. So Kyle carried this ball up. He did not get top side. He did not get an advantage. Now he hangs on to the ball. And Rafe is going to set the second pick. Okay? This is really where the magic starts to happen. Okay? Because what Rafe's going to be able to do is get inside of this defender. Right? And now he's inside of this defender. So when Kyle brings the ball down, Rafe is going to open. Now we've got separation. Right? This man is now behind the play. We've got. Braden Kuzma now is playing defense here, have to make a decision. Kyle's stepping in. Rafe is driving down the near pipe. Hopefully we can make that pass, but if not, it's a pretty good shot. Now, if it's not there, we're probably passing that ball across. Now our right-handed players will go into their three-man game. Usually it's some variation of a double down where our top two players, we get the ball to the low corner, we both screen, or another type of script where we've got mandatory motion to try and create a good shot on the backside. Okay? All that I'm concerned about today is that we set more than one pick in our games. Okay? Balls with the lefties. I don't want to see just one pick throw the ball across. That's not going to generate great shots. Think about as the offensive player Right, who's saying the pick? How do I get inside of this guy? Ray does the ball right now. Kyle, get it back. You can set the up pick right away. Right, chip his hip a little bit and open. Now, because he is playing soft here, we may not get it right away, but mix it up. Mix it up. And the last thing is, every once in a while, this low player has to be willing to stick a foot to the ground, bring, bring the ball back and get across the goal for a shot. You'll see that once in a while. That's gonna keep this guy honest. He won't be able to play as heavy on the top side. Okay, Coach Cusman's gonna talk about the defensive side of the ball quickly. So, a couple things. When the ball's up top, when you're on the ball, we wanna force things down to the half board. Okay, we don't obviously want over the top looks. Okay, when the ball is down low, where it's a little different from the field, you want to force them up towards the half board, where you have help. Underneath, you have no help. So you shave top side, he comes under, 
you have no help. We want to force it up towards the half board where you have another defender here who can clog this area. Okay, does that make sense? So we want to pinch everything in here in the middle. Okay? As an off-ball defender, okay, if the ball is down there, what these guys are going to be taught is to cut through your top shoulder. So if you come through his top shoulder to come set your pick, that's going to try to get you to turn, his, turn your back on that play. So we've got to try to maintain a vision on the ball and not get turned. Okay, so as they cut through this top shoulder, you've got to still force that pick into that area. You're going to do that by, number one, chopping down on his hands. Okay, so go back and reach that crazy thing as well. Play the off ball guy. So as he comes in to set the pick, Raven's going to chop his stick down. Okay? So you have to protect yourself as a defender. So as he comes in to set that pick, chop, that, chop the stick down. Get that stick off of you. Okay? As soon as the pick happens, we're going to switch on post. Okay? Which means the guy on the ball is going to have to open up. So he can see the pick coming and we can switch. Okay? So as he comes up, down and sets that pick, he's gonna open up. Okay, so he can cover the roll. One point, and one guy's one quick point, my right? ball carrier, and I and I drift away. I, I create space by drifting away. I'm making it much easier on the defense to switch the pick. Right? If I get a great pick coming down from Ray, I've got to try to go shoulder to shoulder. You want to make the defender more pickable by moving into him and engaging him. If he's playing you and he's cross-checking you, right, it's a lot less likely that he's going to be able to jump through a pick. If we leave a gap between Kyle's shoulder as he carries it up and Ray's shoulder as he sets the pick, the defender will either be able to stay with that, right, or we're certainly not going to get an advantage. They switch it and we're stuck, right? So let's, let's remember that we've got to brush shoulders. So lastly, on up picks. Okay, so really all I'm looking for when we play defense is where we're forcing the ball. Okay, forcing everything to where your help is. The last thing, when the ball is up here, and there's an up pick coming, this is we're in the worst position as a defender here because we're going to end up on the back side. So we want to go pressure this ball. Okay, and make this up pick difficult. Okay, especially if we can get the ball pushed out away towards the board. Now when the up pick happens, it's easier to recover to it because there's more distance between us and the goal. We can catch up. So as the defender, you have to tell the guy on the ball that there's an up pick coming. And we're just going to use the simple term shoot. So he's going to yell shoot, 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 which means Shoot out and play the ball. Okay? And you're going to pressure the snot out of the ball. If they do get that up pick, okay, we're going to have to make that switch and roll and recover. Okay? Does that make sense? All right. That's all I got.